All right, welcome back, guys. We are here with some more of Isles of Armor DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield. So we're heading out for Trial 2, and hey, Marquis, my bad, my bad. Yeah, tell me what's up, Gramps. It just dawned on me that you're brand new to the Isles of Armor. I bet you have no idea where they even begin looking for max mushrooms. Come on, let's go for a walk, and I'll show you some mushroom hotspots. Sounds good to me. Dum dum dee dee la la dee dee. Now, usually the forest of focus is chock full of max mushrooms, but the thing is, a swarm of greeting came through and ate every last one here. So I'm thinking maybe you'll have more luck finding max mushrooms if you go check warm up tunnel. It's out on the other side of the forest. Just watch where you're going in the forest, okay? It's easy to get lost. Anywho, good luck with the hunt for max mushrooms. Catch you back at the dojo. All right. Let's check out old girl here. Hello, people call me Diggin' Ma. Have you met Diggin' Pa? He's my partner. I love digging and the thrill of digging with my lovely shovel. It's my digging friend. Okay. You could receive the piece of armor I or, or you could use it as a payment to have me dig to see if I can find even more. However, my lovely shovel breaks while I'm digging, you won't get anything. Okay, that's fine. So that's the risk that you take, uh, giving her a piece of ore to dig and her shovel break? Is that once it breaks... Uh, Yep, please keep digging. Don't break. Oh, it broke. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, let's... I, I guess shit will go for five. <laughs> oh! Man. Okay, well. I tried. Oh, you can shake these trees for the apricorn. I had no idea that was what these were for. I thought these were like regular regular fruit. Okay, so now you know, shake those trees. If you want um if you wanna make all the various apricorn uh pokeballs. Okay, so it's a combination too, so you can't, you don't always get the apricorns or apricorns, uh, you are going to get one or the other, or a mixture of both. Oh, Sludgeway, that would have been so good to put on a Bulbasaur right now. But, you, you guys see this area? It looks, it looks really nice. Ooh, excuse me, pardon me. Pokeball up there. Oh, Pikachu. It's an easy way to get a Pikachu if you want one. Dang, and I passed up like two, three trees out there. Let's shake one last time. Yep, there we go. And then I forgot to talk to Hyde because if you talk to Hyde, uh, he'll let you know about his, like, Ram machine or whatever and that he'll be like oh yeah you can use it if you want oh okay so in sword there's going to be passimians in this area and then i guess for shield we're going to have uh orangaroo i think that i think that's his name orangaroo orangarola <laughs> i don't know either way i don't think i have no, I, I think I have one. But alright, let's continue this way because I see this bridge path. I don't know how important it is to get the Galerica twigs. Oops, Scyther. I actually can't wait to transfer over all... Oh, that was a Chansey. And a freaking Kangaskhan. Oh, 
All right, team. Uh, I don't even know how to how I want to go about this other than quick ball it. <laughs> so it's probably not gonna work. Yep, so close. Oh, I wish I knew that before. I don't want to risk it. But then again, if it's just gonna spawn again tomorrow, I mean, there's no, there's no harm, no foul with just taking it out. Oh wow, well, there you go, you can endure. Oh, he used it again. Just like it was meant to be. Oh yeah, don't forget, uh, if you missed the announcement, I don't know why I said don't forget if you never heard it. But if you missed the announcement this morning, uh, Mega Evolution is coming back to Pokemon. Not for Pokemon Sword and Shield, but for Pokemon Go. So if you still play Pokemon Go, uh, or you're thinking about getting back into Pokemon Go, there's a pretty good reason for you to go do it now. Uh, you, you can Mega Evolve now. I'm pretty sure that's only going to be able to take place when you're doing like the gym but i'm pretty sure they're not gonna let you just leave mega Evo mega evolved pokemon in the in the gyms i don't know that seems irresponsible to me it seems like it wouldn't even make sense it kind of would go against mega evolution oh dang squirtle went straight to 20. Uh, i guess yeah that'd be good I never was a fan of uh, tackle, and I love putting bite on a Squirtle. I don't know. I think I'll have to really look into uh, changing up. Oh dang! You can learn protect early on like this. Look at that! I did not know Squirtle learned protect this early on. And then we're about to get War Turtle. War Turtle. One thing we all still want is uh, we want an explanation <laughs> for what the heck's going on with. The, the baby, oh, there's another Kangaskhan. A baby in Kangaskhan's pouch. Like, come on, bro. You, you gotta, gotta be doing something else. Oi, oi, we don't get too many trainers out in these parts. They call me Diggin' Paw. You met the Diggin' Duo? Well, they'd be my sons. Haven't got any armor right ore, have you? You know, it's that type of rare rock the Isle's known for. If you give us a few pieces of that ore, I'll put these fine ore muscles to work, digging you up loads of watts. Okay, so are Watts more important now? I I don't I don't know if Watts are more important now. Diglett. But I see we got a cube on there. Or if we did Sand Shrew. Oh well. Got an item to give to Cube on a Marowak. There's another Diglett here. Let's figure out a oh, Stealth Rock. Okay, that's not bad. Um, if I'm gonna be going up against a Psychic Trainer, I think I'll show you guys off my other shiny. Oh, a Chansey? Oh, you did not just juke me out with your big soul. Wow, I got juked by a Chansey. Yeah, we found the wild mushroom, so now we can pick it. Wait just one moment. It is I, Avery from Avery Town. Huh. Huh. Ha, just as I expected, multiple max mushrooms growing in a bunch. My psychic powers picked up on these max mushrooms eons before you found them. 
I believe I should be the first one to get those max mushrooms. First come, first served and all. Yeah, dead as heck. Hm. I knew you wouldn't listen to reason. I find your presence most disturbing. You show up at the dojo unannounced and you go on to show such talent, even though you're still young? You dare get in my way? I warned you about my psychic powers and now you experience them firsthand. Okay, you got a... Got a little temper on you. Okay, at least he has one more Pokemon. I like how they kind of like balanced it out with... Uh, I think it's truly about time. I think it's about time we found out what the is truly superior. I think I like how they balanced out Galarian... Uh, Galarian Slowpoke by having it Psychic and Poison when it's going to evolve into Slowbro. Just to balance out for it, the two types that they, or two characters that they introduced, which was Avery and Clara for Poison and Psychic. How cheeky. Let's agree to move, is that move is Bond? He is such a sore loser. Yeah, we'll put the head headbutt on you. Yeah. I really need to see what the stats are for the Galarian Slowpoke and Slowbro. Oh, dang, you got Kadabra? Who you trade with and trade back with that fast? <laughs> and then the fact that we've never faced it before, too. Oh, well. Now this... Oh, man, now I want to Alakazam, because Alakazam is one of my favorite psychic types. I was that guy from Gen 1 that had a Gengar and an Alakazam. I am not weak. I cannot lose. Well, you're about to, buddy. I don't know what else to tell you. Shadow Sneak for the win. I do kind of want to, like, like I said, see about just going through with like a level 60-ish team. So I might, I might have to end up just catching Pokemon here and then using them on the team. I don't know. Maybe that'll make things more interesting. But I want to keep, uh, I want to keep the Squirtle slash Gigantamax Blastoise. I'll go find them, find myself some Max Mushrooms that are far more elegant. Avery teleport. Bye bye. Got our max mushrooms. Hello? Hello? Is this Marcus's phone? How's the trial coming along, love? Easy peasy lemon squeezy knows what I mean, sis. You mean you've already managed to find the three max mushrooms? I've been checking on everybody's progress, but it seems you're in first place once again. You really are our new rising star, aren't you? I suppose I'd better go put the pot on the stove, but you be very careful on your way back. Ciao. Yes, I'm culture, so I knew that meant chow. <laughs> there we go. Diglett. So, now we got Pot Bottom Desert. Ooh. There's uh, going to be a bunch of sand slash. There's going to be Pokemon out here that I'm going to want to catch, like, on. Oh, my. The Rhyferior? Chansey, why are you out here? We're just gonna battle the Chansey for the EXP. That's another thing. Like, even if I come out here with the team and I feel like I'm being overwhelmed, I can always just fight the Chanseys out here for a bunch of EXP. I totally forgot Chanseys are good with special defense. <laughs> I think physical defense is what's bad on them. But don't be surprised if you start seeing a lot of people with uh, a lot of people with EVO light chances online. To me, that's going that's the game changer because now everybody's gonna have like their bulky tank, and I think they gotta put like toxic on it. Oh, of course, of course. I didn't even 
I didn't even want to take you out like that. Uh, definitely just want to catch you too. Wow. We were right there. I can't even remember if on this one, if I got the critical capture charm or the catch charm that allows for critical captures. All I know is War Turtle caught up fast with Slowpoke, so Slowpoke definitely takes a while to level. Oh, look, wow, a Diglett. <laughs> So all right, now we're trying to get in those max mushrooms. So as far as right here, I don't, I don't know what else to expect in the game. <laughs> this is about an hour into playing the game, if not like 50-ish minutes. Hey there, Marquis, welcome back. Looks like you nailed the trial. Congrats on finding the max mushrooms. Trial number two was no problem for you. All my other students ended up getting lost in the forest. Turns out finding max mushrooms was the least of their problems. It's a shame, but I guess everyone other than Marcus will fail the trial. Uh, well, first things first, a proper meal. Let's have the max mushrooms made into a delicious max soup, shall we? Where's uh, our hater, Avery? <laughs> Ooh, whip it up, honey. Mm -mm -mm. I've really outdone myself this time. Now all that's left to add are those lovely max mushrooms you've brought us. Hmm, Miss... Honey, I beg you, wait just one moment. Why, Avery, what in the world has gotten into you? I've never seen you in such a flutter. <sighs> I, I've also obtained some max mushrooms. Oh, nice work, Avery. You must have searched hard for those. That makes you the second person to pass the second trial. <clears throat> I did it. Yes, I did search rather hard. Oh, chin up, darling. Avery, you did it. This is a cause for celebration. Master, Miss Honey, if you could grant me one wish just this once, I would be indebted. Would you be so as kind to use my max mushrooms in the max soup? I feel that everyone here should enjoy the taste of my efforts. Oh, Avery, well, if that's all you're after, then I'm perfectly happy to oblige. Though this is hardly the first time you've asked for something, and I rather doubt it'll be the last. Miss Honey... I hope you don't feel that your thunder is being stolen, Marcus, but we're a family here and family shares, so we'll go ahead and use Avery's mushrooms instead. It's just so rare for him to try hard at something. I really want that to reward... I really want to reward that. Okay, you want to reward the suck-up? Okay. You understand, don't you? You can hold on to that max mushroom you found. I'm sure you'll find a good use for them. Yeah, I'll make it myself. Oh, and don't worry, you'll still totally pass with the trial with flying colors. Think of those max mushrooms as an extra reward. Alright, everybody's soup's on. The famous max soup with the master dojo. Well, I'm famished. Time to dig in. Let's eat. Oh, I never did explain the big deal about this soup, did I? You see, when one drinks this dojo's famous max soup, you feel Dynamax energy welling up from inside you. No, you don't. That kind of thing doesn't happen if a human has the soup. But things are a bit different when certain Pokemon drink the soup. You see, there are some Pokemon that have distinct potential. And when they drink the soup, their Dynamax form will change into a Gigantamax form. I'll keep one of our lads in the kitchen on soup duty from now on too, so you can ask him to serve up a fresh bowl of Max soup whenever you need. Now then, let's wrap things up. You all did your best on the second trial, and I'm proud of everyone here. And last but not least, thanks for the soup, Miss Honey. Thanks for the soup, Miss Honey. By the way, Marcus, meet me in my room when you have a moment. Uh, sir? <laughs> sir? I hope this is appropriate. Oh, do you have something to say? <laughs> Perfect, now it's sure to work. All that's left is to fire it up with the on button, so here we go, let's push it.
cripes and powered down. Must still need more wands. You like it? Yes. <laughs> I thought you might be the type. That's my grandma matic and just to be clear, it's the invention of the century. It's my very own brilliant take on recycling. Though it doesn't do a thing right now since it's out of power. If I just had enough wands. But mummy won't give me any more of hers. Okay, that's fine. I got you, boy. Whoa, seriously, they'll give me the 500 watts I need? It'd take me ages outdoors to collect 500 watts in the doors. And me, well, let's just say our systems aren't compatible. But you, sorry, what was your name again? I guess you're more the outdoors type, huh? I'll feed those watts you gave me into the chromomatic at once. And power on. <laughs> perfect. Just perfect. Put in four items you don't need and you'll get one new item in exchange. If you put in four of the apricorns that grow here in the Isle of Armor, then you might even get a rare Pokeball if you're really lucky. Since you gave me the watts and all, feel free to use my Karamomatic as much as you like. <laughs> I gladly shall. Uh, we're going to combine items. And we're... Let's see. Let me... Let me sort these by name. Uh, oh, I totally forgot there's other items. <laughs> wow, so you can put all this stuff in there too. I just need to know about the apricorns or apricorns. So you said if you put those in, but I'm not sure. Oh, uh, they're all here. Guess I'll put a white one in there. Let's see, what did you give us? A Pokeball. Okay. Not expecting to just get a Pokeball. What's this? Are you here because the Master summoned you too? Yeah, we're the only ones that passed. Damn, look at look at all these trophies, medals. There you are, Marquis Avery. Thanks for coming. When I heard you had something to tell me, I came as soon as I could, Master. Right. Well, I decided that you two will now take the Master's Dojo's final, last, ultimate third trial. A final, last, ultimate, third trial, you say? <laughs> final... <laughs> so are you saying that this would be the last trial? Ah, well, yes, that's the gist of it. You two are the only ones who successfully finished the second trial. You pushed each other to greater heights and helped each other grow. So I'd say it's time to finally see who is stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle. So we are to battle one another. That is the last trial? Yep, the rules are simple. Whoever wins will complete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Jojo. This this is it at last. Can I really? The battle will be held in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. I, I must make haste. I must make for the battle court. Post haste, I must meditate on my upcoming victory. A good day to you, then. I'll be on my way. Feel free to take it easy like a slowpoke and take all the time you need to get ready. Okay. Boy. Out here acting like I'm not out here with level 100. Avery. He's got talent, that's for sure, but it's caused him to slack off. He's never felt the need to try hard at anything, I guess. Even with his training here at the dojo, I can tell he's been doing just the bare minimum. But things have changed since you arrived. Maybe you've helped awaken some sort of passion and drive in him, eh? Still, I only hope that motivation isn't put towards anything mischievous. Me too. But guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Next episode, we're going to head through those doors and uh, hopefully battle Avery ASAP. So if you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like for the video. Help the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Help the channel a lot. Let me know you guys are liking these videos so it'll make me more motivated to put these videos out faster i'll save in my regular schedule and with that said guys stay sharp later